Hey crypto friends, for those of you who are new to the channel, my name is Garrett and welcome to Altcoin Radar. Today we are going to be taking a look at Caspa and we are going to see where it might be headed and we will cover both bullish and bearish scenarios as well, just to simply cover all of the possibilities since we cannot see the future. So guys, for those of you who love trading crypto and would like to try out the same exchange that I use on a daily basis, feel free to go ahead and try out the Blowfin exchange with the link in the video description down below this video. I personally love this exchange because they allow just about every or just about anybody from anywhere to be able to sign up and trade crypto futures. So if you're from the United States and you want to trade crypto futures, you can do it right here on the Blowfin exchange. But if you're from uh, New York, you, you probably won't be able to use it simply because those are New York laws and New York is kind of ridiculous. So um, if you're from New York, you probably won't be able to use the exchange. But if you're from anywhere else in the United States, you should have access. So guys, let's go ahead and take a look at Caspa and see what we're currently looking at here. As you guys can clearly see, um, for me with my trading, uh, for me with trading, I use the EMAs a lot. I use the 20 period and the 50 period EMA for my day trading on a regular basis. And I also couple it with the RSI as well. Okay. So that is why you are seeing the EMAs and the RSI on my chart here. So uh, from the way, from what I am looking at here, as you guys can clearly see, we are currently trading within the range of, let's see here, nine cents and 20 cents. We've kind of got a big giant range going on right here. Now, as you guys can clearly see, Caspa has been in a very solid uptrend for quite a while now, and it is literally, it's, it's, it's been performing very, very greatly. But as you guys can clearly see, we have currently breached down below both of these EMAs. And usually when that happens, that tells me that momentum is starting to get weaker. And as you guys can clearly see on the RSI, momentum has gotten weaker on RSI as well, as you guys can clearly see here. So... Here's what I could see happening here. We are currently trading at 16 cents. And as you guys can clearly see, we are, we completely rejected the 50 period EMA and have started to go down as well. All right. Now, the only way that I would start to be feel extremely bullish on this thing again, um, is if we close this, close our current daily candle above both of these EMAs. But I don't foresee that happening. I mean, it definitely could later today or something like that. But as of right now, uh, what, uh, as far as right now and what I'm looking at, I don't see that happening. All right. So realistically, if this thing does end up coming down further, what I could see happening here is we could end up coming down either to this level right in here, which is currently acting as pretty much midterm support right down in here. And if we do end up coming down to this level, we want to bounce off of it, obviously. But if that does not end up happening in a bearish scenario, if we end up going further than that, we will probably end up coming down to one of these smaller, um, one of these much, much smaller uh, support levels. So we have got decent support right around in this, right around in this level here. And then we have also got some midterm support right around in this level. We've also got some decent midterm support right in this level as well. All right. So we've got some decent levels that we could end up stopping at um, and hoping for a potential uh, reverse and a bounce to the upside. All right. Now, as you guys can clearly tell with the with the RSI, usually when when the RSI is below the moving average, it means that momentum is weak and price action is not going upwards, as you guys can clearly see. So if this thing continues to go back further down, for instance, if RSI ends up going back down to extreme oversold levels, be you know at the 30 level or near the 30 level, price action will most certainly come down to at least this 14 cent area, possibly even the 13 cent area. All right. Now, if it does end up doing that, what we want to see happening here is if we do end up coming down, let's say here or something like that, we want to bounce off of it and go back upwards and retest this 14 cent area and then come back down and gain momentum again and create kind of a double bottom here and bounce off of it and create enough momentum to go straight through it once again and start going upwards. And then we'll probably end up stopping at these smaller resistance areas and coming back down to gain or to retest the support and then going back upwards again and creating a higher low here. And overall, that's what we want to see happening here in a healthy uptrend. Again, we want to see these higher lows being created so that we can continue to move higher and higher and higher in a step-by-step -step fashion. Kind of like what you see going on right here. We created a higher low here. We created a higher low here. Um, we created a pretty much a higher, pretty much a higher low right in here. Uh, we created an, uh, one right here. We created another one right in here. And as you guys can clearly see, we topped out right up in here. All right. So realistically, that is overall what we want to see happening here with Caspa moving forward. But 
let's say this bearish scenario doesn't play out and instead we end up going bullish from here. So if we do end up going bullish from here, hold on, let me finish deleting this shit so I can show you. Hang on. All right, so we got those deleted. All right, so if this thing ends up going bullish instead, let's say we end up closing, let's say this daily candle ends up closing above the, let's say the daily candle ends up closing just like right where it's at right now and the next green or the next daily candle opens green and we end up going through the EMAs, we wanna be looking at, first of all, this short uh, midterm resistance area right in here at 18 cents, okay? So once we end up breaching this area, or if once we end up breaching above these EMAs, we wanna be looking at this 18.3 cent area. And once we get to that level, we'll probably end up having resistance right there, and we'll probably end up coming back down a little bit, maybe back down to these EMAs again to retest them before gaining momentum again to go through this 18.3 cent level. And once that happens, then we're pretty much smooth sailing all the way up to 20 cents and we can start heading higher and higher once again and overall start creating more and more cycle highs going forward and that's overall what we want to see here but obviously guys everything is going to depend on what the overall altcoin market is doing in general and when we go to the total three chart we can clearly see uh, we can clearly see that we are currently trending or the overall altcoin market is currently trending between this $558 billion area and the 20 period EMA right here as well. We have rejected this EMA um, so far on the second day in a row. And if we continue to reject it, for instance, if this current daily candle ends up closing below this EMA, we'll probably end up opening the next daily candle um, somewhere around here and end up, there's a good possibility we could end up dropping below this support level here of $558 billion and heading down to this fifth uh, $509 billion area once again. But if it turns out to be bullish, instead in the next daily candle opens green, and let's say we open green above this support level here of $558 billion, and we end up having enough momentum to go above the 20 period EMA and above the 50 period EMA, then we can fully expect that CASPA is going to start rising again. And we will start to see, where's my CASPA here? Where's CASPA? There, there it is. And we can probably start to see CASPA going up to these levels here once again of around 18.3 cents, all right? So overall here, guys, uh, before I go ahead and wrap up this video, if you feel like you got some decent value out of it, please make sure to go ahead and subscribe to the channel, hit the like button below the video, and leave me a comment below on your personal thoughts on where you think the price of CASPA is going to go here in the short to midterm. And with that said, for those of you who stuck around and watched this entire video throughout the whole thing, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see all of you in my future videos.